Skylanders Swap Force is the third game in the Skylanders franchise, and as the title suggests, brought us the gimmick of swapping. Swapping allowed you to move the parts from other figures to create different combinations, basically to create your own character. And I truly believe that swapping is the best gimmick that has ever come out of Skylanders. Now, it is true some swaps were better than others. For example, Rattle Rouser would mop the floor with everybody. It's not oh gonna my, happen. Oh my god! It's not gonna happen. And then some swaps were Gorilla Stone. But with the tagline, swappable, unstoppable, and a whopping total of 256 different combinations that you can make the Swap Force characters in, it seems like the swap abilities possibilities were endless. But what if I told you that that's a lie? Liar, liar, plants for hire. 256 swap abilities. Oh, well, you would know. Liar. There's actually 289 different Swap Force combinations. Because there's actually a 17th Swapper. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet Template Template. I fear no man, but that thing. No, I, I, ain't, I ain't talking about that freak, all right? He's not here, is he? How do I get this thing off? Oh. One shudders to imagine what inhuman thoughts lie behind that mask. What dreams of chronic can sustain cruelty? This is Template Template, and as you can see, he kind of doesn't really look like he's got that much going on up there. To start with, we'll do a short rundown of his animations. His first animation is his idle animation, which obviously is just him scratching, I guess his butt. His walk animation is nothing spectacular, just normal walk animation. Uh, his run animation, though, is where it gets a little bit interesting. When he runs, for some weird reason, his eyebrows just extend outward. Not sure why, we gotta talk. but they do. And then he has attacks as well. His primary is just a punch forward. His secondary is just a spin. And my personal favorite, his third attack is a slap. Now, can any of these attacks do damage? For those that don't know, Swap Force actually introduced facial animations into all new characters with the use of the D-pad. And this guy, yeah, he has those too. Every Skylander would normally have four facial animations. For some reason, this guy only has three out of the four, but he does tick three of those boxes. He has a happy, an angry, and then he's missing his sad, but he does have his goofy expression, which is up on the D-pad. And it's a little more than goofy, if you ask me. <laughs> West were originally a mechanic introduced in Giants, and they made their way over to Swap Force, and he actually does have quests. As you can see, he doesn't have nearly as much as every other Skylander normally has. Normally, Skylanders have elemental quests as well, and they have a character-specific quest. He is missing these and only has the general quests. As 
As you can see, he's got Bad Guy Basher, which it is possible to complete this, at least using water balloons. I'm sure there's probably other ways to do it, but I test it with water balloons, and that does work. There's complete a non-story mode level with full health, which I'm sure you can do that in one of the arena levels as long as you play co-op and play your cards right. There's eat 15 fruits in story levels or arenas, which obviously he can do that. Then there are win 10 PvP matches, which it's a little bit odd how you have to do this one, but it is possible. For starters, ring out's pretty easy, you just have the opponent jump off. And uh, for some reason, when he wins, his profile picture is displayed as Magna Charge. I'm not sure why, but it is. Now, traditional battle mode is a little bit different. Since you can't necessarily just have the opposing character jump off the map like you can in Ring Out, the only way for you to defeat someone in traditional battle mode with Template Template is to dwindle their health down with arena traps and power-ups. It's doable, but it's not fun. KO. And then there's totally maxed out. Reach level 20 and purchase all upgrades for this Skylander, which I'm going to assume this one is achievable. I didn't try for it, but he can level up. Level up. And he has upgrades. Well, kind of. So when you try to upgrade template template, since he's a swapper, you can obviously select either from the top or the bottom. If you select the top, you will get two paths. Obviously, their descriptions are missing and there are no pictures. It doesn't matter which path you pick, though, because it will always lead to this, which says item name is way too long and then it costs zero coins. But no matter how much I press A, I can't buy it. I also noticed another thing is... For some reason, the description of this is actually a early version of Hootloop's Bottom's Soul Gym. So that's kind of weird. And if you go to the bottom half, you will see that there's actually a traditional Skylander upgrade tree. Now you can buy all these, but they don't do anything. As you can see, I've bought everything on his bottom half, but nothing changes with his attacks. It's still the same biz. Now, this was one of the first things I thought about when I got the first tryout template template. Does he actually add to the collection menu at all? Does he give you an elemental boost? Well, when you claim ownership of him, it doesn't say elemental boost or anything. When you go over to your Skylanders, you don't see a new exclamation mark. While I can scroll through 193 different Skylanders for you, I'm going to just tell you flat out, he does not add to the menu. And the reason why I think that is because if you look at his UI, I'm pretty sure this guy actually does not have an element. Now, it is true, when you summon him, it does say he's fire, but I think that's just a placeholder and it defaults to that. Not only that, but when summoning Template Template on his two NFC cards, the portal's color will actually stay on what color it is. So if it's on purple blue, it will stay that way until his summon is complete. So this guy actually just straight up does not have an element. While we're on the topic of the UI, let's look at its other two major parts. Those two parts obviously being its profile picture and the ladder icon. Now, the profile picture, I'm not entirely sure. It kind of looks like Blast Zone to me. Both of Blast Zone's pictures, the regular and the dark one, don't look like this. But my bet is it's probably just some early rendition of Blast Zone. Either that or it's just obviously what it says. It's just a placeholder. It's not supposed to be anything. Alright, so on to the ladder icon. Now this is the climb ability. There's only two other Skylanders that have this, and it's Washbuckler and Spy Rise. So the question is, can Template Template climb the wall? No. Only a 
swamps. Template Template cannot climb. And I think the reason is that he doesn't have the ability is I think it's one of those things that is just tacked onto a Swap Force character by default, similar to the fire symbol when he's summoned. So it's definitely just another placeholder. Alright, so question is what is this guy? What is his purpose? Well, as his name suggests, he's a template. Template for what? Well, he was a template for the Swamp Force characters. When Vicarious Visions was creating a new Swamp Force Skylander, they didn't want to have to make them all from scratch, so they used this guy. Template Template was the base for every single Swamp Force Skylander. Yes, that means every single one of those Swamp Force Skylanders you own was originally this disgusting yellow putrid monster. So, for your viewing pleasure, here are some template template swaps. Welcome to Hell on Earth, aka Swap Force for the Nintendo Wii. And as you can see, our friend Template Template has followed us over. The one major change obviously being that for some reason now he has no textures, which I don't think it's out of the question that possibly during the development since this was handled by Beanox, he probably just lost his textures and they just never gave it back to him because, well, he's never supposed to be seen in the final product. Obviously, besides him having no textures, the only noticeable change I could find was the upgrade for his top actually now costs 1500 rather than just zero. So, out of raw curiosity, I played through the entirety of the first level of Swap Force on the Wii and got 1500 coins and unlock the power pod, but unfortunately it's exactly the same as the other console releases and you just can't buy it for whatever reason. All right, and we have one last thing to talk about Swap Force before moving on to other games. The only thing else that I would note is this happens on the Wii version and the mainline console versions. When you summon Template Template with a swap, if Template Template is the bottom half, normal Swap for Skylander will be set to level 1 with 0 coins and all their upgrades gone. And practically the same thing happens if you do a bottom half as well because if you check the upgrades on the bottom half, they will be gone too. But note that these don't delete them from the actual figure because when you swap them back to a normal swap, you'll notice that their level, their money, and their upgrades are back where they were before. Alright, now on to the other games. He doesn't work. He doesn't work. He doesn't work. While it is true, he does not work on the 3DS games, he does not work on Trap Team, and he does not work on Superchargers Racing. But mainline Superchargers, that is a different story. He actually does exist in this game. Now the real reason that this guy exists in this version of the game 
is he's not an Easter egg. He's not supposed to be anything secret. He's just simply left over because Superchargers was built off a of Swap Force. So he's just left over character data that's still in the game. And it's more of the same, honestly. Nothing really has changed about Template, template at all. He still has the same attacks. He's got the same animations. Everything about him is exactly the same as it was before. The only thing that's different now is he has a nice, snazzy new profile picture. Also, I can confirm that he does indeed work on online co-op, so if you want to show him off to a friend, he could. Alright, here is the moment of truth. The question that you've probably been asking yourself, well, can Template Template drive a car? Well, the answer to that is yes, actually he can. Now this isn't that surprising, but Template Template does not have a 3D driving icon down in the corner like every other character in the game does. And you know what that means. If he can drive a car in story mode, he can race. And yes, he can race in offline races and online races as well. His racing animations are actually pretty solid. Of course, I'm sure they didn't make them specifically for him when they were making it so all Skylanders could drive. He probably just inherited the racing animation by accident. Or it's completely possible that Template Template was still used for stuff in Superchargers, but we don't actually have a confirmed answer for that, so that's still up in the air. Alright, so we're almost to the end of Superchargers. We only have one more thing to discuss, and that is his racing icons. When selecting Template Template as your racer in single player, and when seeing him on the minimap, as well as seeing him in the results screen, he will have a blank picture that has nothing in it. But in the online lobby, when you're searching for a race, he actually has a blank generic trigger happy icon. But with that being said, it is time to move on to the final game, Imaginators. So the question is, does Template Template work with Imaginators? Well, yes and no. He will load into the portal sequence just fine, but when you actually try to summon him into the actual game, the game will crash. And I think the reason why it crashes is because he doesn't actually have a placeholder profile picture in this game. So when it tries to load him, it crashes. But interestingly enough, since the bottom half of swappers don't require a profile picture, you can still load the bottom part of template onto any regular swapper. Obviously with this news, I was heartbroken. I just wanted to see my goofy boy in Imaginators. But I wasn't ready to give up yet. So out of just curiosity, I booted up the race mode to see if he could possibly be summoned there. And to my surprise, when I loaded into an online lobby and I put him on the portal, the exclamation flashed, meaning that it was picking him up. So I went into single player and once again, I got the exclamation mark again. So. I tried loading into a race. It's race time here at the Dragon Spot. And believe it or not, our boy was there. Live and well. I thought, well surely when it's just gonna try to display the profile picture it might crash, right? Well no. His profile picture was stink bombs. For whatever reason, I have no idea. So his main profile picture in the corner turned to stink bomb. His Minimap icon turned to stink bomb, and his results screen also turned to stink bomb. And with that, we have officially hit the end of the video. First off, I would like to thank these three individuals. They are the three that are responsible for the bringing this character to life, and without them, this video wouldn't have even been possible. So big thanks to Dark, Bolton, and Winner. And second off, if you want to know more about Template Template, I will be putting a link in the description to Molten's video about Template Template, where you can learn more about him, as well as where you can download him if you want. When you get this dump file, please don't sell it, as that's not its intention. It's supposed to be free for everyone to use. And with that being said, 
I don't typically make long videos, so tell me if you guys want some more long videos like this, because I definitely have plenty of knowledge to share and ideas. Because typically I just do memes which are short, or I do live streams which are long, but I've wanted to test more into the kind of the middle ground of that area recently, so I thought I'd make this video. This one took uh, like four or five days to put together, uh, but it was worth it. So if you guys end up wanting more of this, just tell me and I'll try to make it happen. Other than that, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you guys have a nice day. See ya.